And believe it or not, telepathy is coming faster than you think. We taped this again for the Science Channel special, 12 episodes, 30 minutes apiece, starting December 1st. Here's how it works. This is Brown University, where we have a stroke victim on the lower right. He is paralyzed. He cannot move. He cannot communicate with his loved ones. He is a quadriplegic, a stroke victim. On the upper left is a chip. They put the chip in his brain, shown on the lower left. You can see the dot where the chip is placed. You hook up that chip to a laptop. That person, who is now totally paralyzed, can now read emails, surf the web, answer emails, do crossword puzzles, do everything you can do on a computer, except this person happens to be paralyzed. This means that in the future, you may want to simply communicate with the web by thinking about it. We can also use this technology, by the way. This is how it works, by the way. He's allowed to see the laptop. You see the connection on the right, an electrode that connects to a laptop computer, the world's first direct link between the human mind and a computer. And also in Japan, they have very tediously mapped images of the brain onto an MRI scan and had a computer recognize them. We can actually see the outlines now the decoded outlines of an object that you are looking at with your eyeballs. This means that when you are asleep and are dreaming, we may be able to photograph some of the dreams that you have. This has already been done at Kyoto University, not with dreams, but with, an, with the person looking at an object. A computer decodes the images on an MRI scan. We can now recognize, the first thing that was done was a horseshoe, uh, you can actually see the horseshoe, the, person that is look, the person's horseshoe that he's looking at via an MRI scan. But in the article, it says that the next target is dreams. Maybe one day we'll be able to record your dreams. This is how it looks like. You have to put this thing on top of your head. But in the future, it may be invisible. It may be painless and invisible, and you'll be able to surf the web all by yourself. Also, we should point out we should also point out that we can actually use this for a lie detector test. When you tell a lie, your brain scan lights up like a Christmas tree. That's because first, you have to know the truth. Second, you have to create the lie. Third, you have to create the cover-up of the lie. And fourth, you have to analyze the consistency of the cover-up with all the other lies you've been telling all these years. That's a lot of brain power. And you can actually see that on an MRI scan. Now let me say a few things about the far future. So far, everything I've talked about is the near future. We're talking about 10, 20, 50 years in the future. Now let's look even farther. We went to NASA, and we visited the scientists who dream of one day building a starship. This, of course, is far beyond anything we can muster with today's technology. However, we actually interviewed scientists who believe that it may be possible to bend the fabric of space and time so that we can leap forwards across enormous distances, perhaps using Einstein's theory. 